Well, do you want a snack? What do you usually go for? Some pretzels or chips or something like that? Well, a bunch of people these days are going for bugs. Yeah, these critters behind yeah. us. CBS News' Ali Bellman visits a cricket farm in Brooklyn and one chef who says that the critters could soon be in your kitchen. Could this be the sound of sustenance? I had no desire to ever eat bugs. It's just not going to happen. But after harvesting thousands of crickets in these bio units at the Brooklyn Navy Yard, Mitch Joachim is changing his chirp. He says eating crickets isn't just good for our health, it's good for our planet. So it's around 200% less water to make the same gram of protein from a cricket than it would be from something like a cow. The bug farm was developed to study cheap protein alternatives for developing countries. But once this farmer saw how little space and water crickets require, he decided to bring them to the concrete jungle. Wouldn't this make sense to have in Brooklyn and use it as a really high-tech, super sanitary farm, which it is, for the production of free-range crickets for consumption in restaurants here locally in Brooklyn? So the question became, how do you convince people to eat bugs? Well. You make them into snack bites. They taste pretty good. Crickets are described often as having a nutty or an earthy flavor, and they just happen to pair well with, with spices, such as, you know, pepper and ginger, um, cinnamon. High in iron, calcium, and omega-3, the crickets are ground into flour, mixed with nuts, spices, and dried um, fruits, and packaged into these snack it. bites. Joachim is bringing in more bio units and working with local chefs to expand the farm into a business. But you can get the equivalent of a steak uh, as far as protein uh, with insect powder. Joachim says the next challenge, taking the ick factor out of insects. From the Brooklyn Navy Yard, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News. No. <laughs> Not yet. All natural. No. All natural. Really? Well, so are cockroaches. What's next? <laughs> you never know. Oh, Protein. Boy. All right. That's going to do it for us here at 5. We'll see you again at 11. The news at 6 starts right now.